Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Pray With Me. Full disclosure, I'm having a little bit of a rough morning. Um, Isaac found a happy birthday gift bag in our house. I let him have it. I let him go to sleep with it. I let him bring it with us to the park. And he just keeps asking for birthday, 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 birthday. And it's really kind of wearing on me. So I would ask for your prayers for Isaac to have a good day. By the grace of God, I found a little toy here at the park and I gave it to him. And sometimes when he can shift from one obsession to another one, that helps him like clear the air a bit. So I, um, we threw the happy birthday bag away and then I gave him the little toy. It was a little, it was a little red fox Sonic the Hedgehog toy. And so hopefully that will get him, you know, back on track that today is not a birthday party day. We're not doing anything related to birthdays. Today is school. So if you could just pray for Isaac, he's swinging on the swing and I'm just kind of giving him some space. So um, I wanted to share um, this song that has been on my heart. Um, I'm so thankful to the Lord because I've been asking him to make me a, a praiser, a worshiper. You know, I don't, I don't, I love to worship Jesus and I love to sing to Jesus, but I don't do it like um, loudly, I guess, because I'm not, I don't have a singing voice. But the Lord keeps telling me just because you don't have a singing voice that's, you know, pleasant to the ears, it's, it's pleasing to the heart of God. And that's the most important thing. You know, just like when we pray, I've had so many people tell me, Laura, you know, you, you, you pray beautifully. I don't know how to pray like that. But if you say, dear God, please help Isaac today in Jesus name. Amen. That prayer is just as beautiful to God as, you know, a specialized, um, autism mama or autism daddy's prayer you know it's not about the words it's about the heart so the song that has been on my heart or just came on my heart today actually is um it says holiness holiness is what i long for holiness is what i need holiness is what you want from me so take my heart and form it take my life transform it take my will conform it to yours to yours um, and it goes on, righteousness, righteousness is what I long for. Righteousness is what I need. Righteousness is what you want from me. So take my heart and form it. Take my life, transform it. Take my will, conform it to yours, to yours, O oh Lord. Isn't that so beautiful? We used to sing that um, in Calvary Chapel, Golden Springs in the 90s or early 2000s. So I just wanted to share that. Father, and we do desire um, truth in the inside. Holy Spirit, um, forgive us of our sins. You are a holy God. We are wretched sinners. But thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, we're saved, we're born again, we're heaven bound. Lord, um, take this life as an offering. May, be, may it be pleasing to you, O oh Lord. Um, what a nice, uh, peaceful moment. God, there's no one at this park. There's one man walking way over there. There's one guy with his dog that he always trains. Um, and, uh, and Isaac's on the swing and it's just very peaceful, incredibly peaceful, Lord. And I thank you that you give us perfect peace when our mind is fixed on you, Lord. And I just pray against this anxiety that Isaac has. You know, we can never fully get away from birthday stuff. It's just part of life. It's kind of like if you have a loved one who's an alcoholic, you know, even if you hide the beer and flush it down the toilet, you know, every every now and again, they're going to be around it. Even at Chuck E. Cheese, at uh, baseball games, basketball games, they sell it. So, Father, I just pray for mercy. Thank you for being the God of mercy. Lord, you triumphed over the grave. Lord, you are the resurrection and the life. You are the great I am, the living water, the bread of life, the prince of peace. Uh, Yahweh Mekadisham, you are sanctifying us. And through these little hiccups in the day, it just reminds me how you are sanctifying me, sanctifying us. I could sense my patience wearing thin, and I know that's not what you desire for me. So please forgive me. Help me to have supernatural Holy Spirit filled patience with my boy Isaac. And I pray for each and every person that's praying with me right now. I pray they would lay their burdens down at your feet, God, as we're gearing up to celebrate Easter. You are the resurrection and the life, Jesus. You are coming again. You said in Revelation, 
I am the one who died and who rose again. I am the firstborn of the dead. I am Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. And it says in your word in Revelation that your um, eyes are like a flame of fire and your tongue is like a sword. And it just trips me out just to see you so fierce and amazing like that, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, let's go. Come on, Paul, let's go. Come on, get your bag. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, remember after school, you get your pizza and you're going to eat it. Birthday. Anna, birthday. How about bag? How about Red Star balloon? Bag. Okay, all done. Red Star balloon. Okay, go get your bag. Uh, happy no Listen, way. turn around. Get your bag. Look. No, it's cool. Turn around. Look. Look. Get your bag with your toys. Come on. Get your bag. Let's walk. Time for school. And so, Father, I just, um, I just pray for each and every person and their individual burdens. God, I know that so many of us are grieved in our hearts for the prodigals, for the lost, for the wicked, Father. Um, and so I just pray for each and every person, God, that we would do what your scripture says. We would cast our cares on you because you care for us. That we would not ever, never, Lord, turn the, to the right or to the left. But we would follow on that straight path, God, the path of righteousness, Lord. Your word says that the path, the path of the just is as the shining sun. Help us to stay on your path, Lord. Help us not to um, allow the things of this world to crowd out your love, to crowd out your truth. Father, I thank you that you you broaden the way before us. You make the crooked path straight. You are the lover of our soul, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, the great I am. You are Jehovah Sidkenu, the Lord, our righteousness. Armor us up, God. Help us to put on the full armor of God. For we don't know what battles coming. We don't know what battles um there are we don't we don't see in the spiritual realm holy spirit give us your eyes to see what your what your spirit is doing that when we go places and when we do things even as my sweet sister sandy munihan shared with me she was on a walk and she wanted to take these beautiful purple wildflowers home and that was unusual for her she doesn't usually do that occasionally but she grabbed these wildflowers just just wanting to spruce up her home and then her mom had sent a devotion with the exact same wildflower on the scripture with the Ezekiel passage, Lord. And that is you. That is an example of your confirmation. That is an example of how you wink at us, how you say, my daughter, my son, I see you. I love you. I know you. Father, I want to pray for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit this Easter. I pray for Pastor Joe McTarsney, for Pastor Jack, Pastor David, Pastor Randy, um, Pastor Mike in Upland. For all of the churches, not just the Calvaries, every single Bible teaching, God fearing, Jesus loving church, I pray for them. I pray that you would uh, baptize us with your Holy Spirit, that it wouldn't just be uh, another Easter, but that we would be different, Lord, that you would change us. I want to come with expectation to see you move, to see people get saved, Lord Jesus. I think it's um, Tim and Karen Angelo, they were saved on an Easter Sunday. Um, many many years ago and I always think about that um, that you blessed their family with um, saving them that Easter Sunday and so give us uh, wisdom and insight and your eyes of who to invite father that we would be bold to invite people whether it's a stranger or a loved one to invite them to come to church father because we know that you're coming again Lord the time is so short and so I pray for those people that can't go to church this Sunday because maybe they're in a wheelchair or they had a surgery or they're sick or they're um, frail or for whatever reason they can't go to church in person. May they tune in online. Lord, I thank you for technology. So I just pray for that. I pray that there would be just so many people, like I said, whether they're elderly or sick or disabled or maybe if it's even a transportation issue. I remember there was a brother that used to walk to church and Chuck would occasionally pick him up and give him a ride, but he would he would walk miles to get to church. So I just pray, Father, for um, for people to tune in online and get blessed and get saved and fall more in love with you, Lord. I, one of my friends had praised you, God, for Tim's uh, coming back to you. And it's so true. I never thought of it that way because I always knew our brother Tim was saved, but he did come back in a in a powerful way that he um he wasn't he wasn't as on fire okay he got saved lord you know that he accepted you in the 90s and then life just happened he just he just 
he just had life and he wasn't as on fire for you. But when he got the cancer, he pressed into you and he just grabbed you with two arms, um, two hands. He embraced you, God, like, like a, a, a wife after not seeing her spouse from the military, Lord. She, uh, you, Jesus, embraced Tim and he hugged you back. And so he did come back to you. So I pray that many people this Easter would come back to you. This Good Friday service, Father, um, bring people back, God. We, we, we want to see a revival. We want to see um, your church awake and alive. We want to see, um, like that song, <laughs> we want to see Jesus lifted high, a banner of love across this land, Lord. We want, we want what you want. And your word says that you're not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. God, I want to pray for Vivian um, Regay. I pray for comfort. I pray for all of the family, Ryan's family, um, Kim, uh, Kristen, the whole family. Father, this will be their first Easter without Edwin, and it's going to be hard. So would you comfort them? Would you um, just give them your perfect peace? And even though that chair will be empty where Edwin would have sat, that they would just um, share memories about him, be so blessed and encouraged. Good morning. I just I just pray for them, Father. Thank you for reminding me about that. Just even now, I pray for um, Kathy Montabaitis. I pray for um, Jessica Kruger and her family. I pray they'd get they'd be able to get to church, Lord. I know that when you're grieving and you're mourning, and she has family in from out of the country actually that they would be able to attend church um the cougar family i pray for jamie and matt and kelly and henry and holt um i can't even imagine what it would be like to be a little boy with a out of this world amazing dad like tim who's gone and and there's such a void and even as i told jessica i understand that there's such a void there because he was such a big personality you know so fun loving and silly and uh, vivacious and full of life Tim was full of life but now he's living his true life his true life um, thank you God and so I just pray for the Cougar family hold your back trust I pray for um, healing and comfort and mercy I pray for those in drugs and alcohol Lord when I drive around and I see people talking to themselves and with you know sometimes barefoot I see people you could clearly tell they're on drugs I just often think that's someone's son that's someone's daughter Trashkin. that's someone's uncle Trashkin. come on let's go Harvey school come on let's go let's go come on let's go to school come on you could do it let's go to school buckle seatbelt um, I think that those people um, they're a loved one so please just break those chains of drugs and addiction and alcohol and um and uh, mental health struggles, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts. In the name of Jesus, heal our loved ones who struggle with these things. I pray for my brother that he would get to a doctor, Lord, that is he has diabetes. I pray for each and every person on this prayer time praying with me who has a health issue or they have a loved one with a health issue, Lord. Some of them are are easier to overcome the flu or, you know, a sprained ankle but some of these things are life debilitating life altering ailments and so i just pray for healing not just physical wounds but the emotional wounds god some of my clients are just they hit despair they they get really low when their spouse leaves them so i just pray for comfort lord i pray that you would um help the church be the church as it says in james that we wouldn't just be hearers only and forgetful hearers we would be doers we would serve you we would worship you in spirit yeah, and in yeah. truth god and i pray for um shami and and yoon i pray for yoon for his health his physical health his mental health i pray for amy clark i pray for her grandma dear jesus her beloved grandma lord this beautiful woman of god lord she's in her 90s she's very frail She's recovering some from some bruises and, and cuts. Touch her body, Lord. Do what only you can do. Usher her into your kingdom. May she see your angels, Father, beckoning her home. And, and may it be a sweet, easy transition. Easy, Lord. Make it easy, Jesus. There's nothing too hard for you. And for all of our loved ones who are very sick or who are dying, I pray for um, 
Rebecca and, and Carson as Carson's dad, Mickey, went home to be with the Lord. And there's been so much death lately, Lord, but we know that even through death, you can bring life. So I pray that as funeral services go down and as memorial services and celebration mm -hmm. of life and um, sure. and even just one year markers um, when we celebrate the year a person passed or a birthday or, you know, Easter and then Mother's Day and then Father's Day. And there's just so much to celebrate. At the same time, there's a lot of mourning. I pray for the Vallejo family as little Bobby went home. He died. I pray for the family for comfort, Jesus. Please bring comfort to my mom. It's been so hard for her. He was so young. He was only in his 30s. So I pray for Perfect. my mom. I pray for Marlene, Doreen, Rocky, um, little Joey, all of the family members god and for baby ellie we'll we will not stop praying for birthday. her for a miracle touch her father cancer has no place in that body of hers hallelujah please jesus heal little baby ellie heal her of cancer may she live and not die may she proclaim the name of jesus i pray for her family and her friends i pray for valerie rosales as she's overcoming i believe she had covid or the flu or something but would you be with her and I just thank you, Jesus, for the way that you meet us. Every time we pray together, Lord, we you meet us in a special way, Lord. So would you meet my friends and family praying alongside with me right now? Be with Glenda, be with Gwen, be with Vivian, Margaret, my mom, um, Sandy, um, Alicia. I pray for Alicia. Comfort her. May she know her value in you, Jesus. And just so many, so many other people, so many other things that are on my heart, my mind. My husband, Chuck, he's been having this headache that won't go away for several days. Would you just touch him? Touch him. Do a miracle. I pray for the prodigals, Adil, Adam, Petey, Ian, uh, Talisa, Calvin. I pray that for each one of them, God. I pray for Rob. I pray for um, uh, Brianna, for Mark, um, several Marks that I know that are not walking with you. I pray for those that are doing well financially. They're doing well with their family, but they're not saved. I know many people like this, Lord. People that are wealthy, people that are successful in man's eyes, people that have good looks, good fitness, good um, genes, whatever it is, um, health-wise, they have good you know, genes, but they are not saved. Father, what profits a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? So I just pray for their salvation. And I just thank you for being our God, our rock, our king. Save now, Lord. Hosanna in the highest. In Jesus' name, amen.